back. MLG Pro League coverage with Mr. X and Swanee. We're going to jump straight into the action. They have started up the game. It's going to be Terrace SND. Who you want to jump on board with first here, Swan? Uh, I think we gave just us a bit of love on the left side, so I'd like to say I'll rise play this SD. I'm not really familiar. As we say that, though, Slack gets the opening pick with the snipe on Pac-Man. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Diabolic, he's going to be taken out as well. Wheats all the way on a long flank, but Chino, he is going to be hunted down by the players of Justice. He is going to be taken out. It's going to be very difficult for Wheats to clutch this up. Three on one, Justice going to have Enable, Slacked, and Mochilla alive all up against Wheats. And Wheats is going to run right into all of them, and he is going to be taken out. So strong round right there from Justice. They're trying to even up this series at one apiece. Yep, completely reminiscent, reminiscent sorry, of just as a previous strategy in the, in the S&D we saw. They literally just stay together and just rush one point, and that's exactly what they did, you know. Chino had absolutely no chance. He wasn't really, he wasn't expecting that sort of aggression, sat in his form with the sniper, and just got completely surrounded by three of them. No, yeah, Rise definitely was not prepared for that push out of justice. No, I want to stay on board with Rise again, see what they're going to do on offense. And I think I've seen Chino play this a few times. Yep, he's got that sniper rifle out. He's going to see players Black cross. With the, first pack, uh, the first pick, sorry. Yeah, no, that is absolutely huge. It's a very good point. No, first blood in S and D is always crucial. It's going to be one player from Rise going to be pushing down there on the bottom. He's going to be taken out. Back on with Chino. He's going to be looking with that sniper rifle. He can't see anything. Wheat's looking mid-map. He's going to take out one player. They're just trying to you know, get some picks, trying to even this up. He's got one player down to his right. Very difficult spot for Wheat's with you know, very little mute left. He's going to try and make it cross map. Yeah, and this next kill is crucial. You know, it's the difference between a 3v1 and a 2v2. And obviously, Enable managed to get the kill, which was huge. And it leaves Chino with a lot of work to do. Yeah, Chino with a ton of work to do on your screen. He's got two players behind him. Looks like they're going to try and just bait this out. Chino, he, I don't know if he saw him. Yeah, he's going to see him right there. He's going to take out Slack 2v1. Chino. Well, this is possible, given that the yeah. previously, you know, the, just how far apart they were spread, and, and that allowed Chino to sneak behind Slack and get the kill. Right, I mean, they're they're very spread out, the players on Justice. Chino, he's going to go up on the defensive spawn. He's going to have to pick a bomb site right away. He's going to go towards B. I imagine it's going to be Enable over there, going to try and challenge him over at B. He's going to pick up that kill, just like that 2-0 start for Justice. Yep, and Enable would have recognized he would have got the call out from Machilla saying, look, I've got a bomb, just go to B and make sure he's not planting, and there he is, right on time. Justice. 2-0, hot start for Enable, 4-0. We're going to jump on board with him at the start of this round, give Justice some S&D love. They won that last one, we saw them against FaZe. Something that we don't see Justice usually do, win those uh, S&Ds, so see what they have in the strategy department on this map. It's going to be Chino actually picking up first blood on the slack, so completely opposite. We're getting the caster's curse with the snipers. Yeah, each round we've had a sniper pick. You know, I think highlight that player on the mid-map. I'm not sure who is flanking behind from, for uh, for right. Tweets, Tweets, yeah. actually. And he, he... Does he get the... No, he oh. didn't get the kill, actually. That, that's a costly mistake. Gets cleaned up by Enable. Chino able to trade, but then Mochilla answers back on Pac-Man. Yeah, I know. That's a huge... Uh, misstep right there for Weeds. I mean, if he's able to get that kill and get out of there, that's a huge play for them. Mochilla on your screen. He's going to try and push up. He's going to take out Chino. One player left for Rise. Going to be Diabolic. He is taken out. So just like that, Justice up 3-0 in S&D on Terrace. And you know, Weeds had an opportunity to put his team up, you know, four two players, but taken out. And then once from there, round went all in the favor of Justice. And I think this... Uh... This map certainly favors the play style of Justice on SD. I think if they continue to rush, because there are so many routes, there are so many avenues and alleys to just creep behind the team that it's so hard to hold a conventional setup on both attack and defense. Oh, yeah, I 100% agree. Uh, you know, aggression on this map from the offensive side definitely has its advantages. Let's stay on board with the guys from Justice, though. As we see Classic, he is going to be pushing down straight into the middle map. He's going to take one out. Mochilla takes another out. Slacked. Able to pick up a kill just like that. Wheats can't even make it out of the respawn before all his teammates are dead. He's going to take a snipe shot to that face. He's going to get jump sniped by Classic. Uh, just a complete slaughtering going on in Search and Destroy on Terrace from Justice. Yeah. I think one thing I will say is I'll be stealing that nade from Machilla. He hit an absolute peach of a grenade. I think it was from his top spawn building all the way down into pool. Oh, that's pretty sweet. It was Tons ridiculous. of grenade spots on this game, you know, with those... XL launcher is able to shoot those grenades pretty far. You can get them across the map. Let's go on board with the guys from Rise, see what's going on. 
See what's going on with Pac-Man, struggling a little bit, 0-4. A very important player for uh, Rise Nation. Now, if Pac-Man's playing well, this is a completely different team. Once again, first pick coming from Enable, not from the snipe this time, but actually from a bow. Yeah, and it looks like Pac-Man, he's just going to be watching this way. Nobody really coming, actually. He's going to have one player in front of him. He's actually, looks like he got stunned by a teammate. So, two players go down. It's just going to be up to Mochilla and Enable going up against Wheats. And Diabolic Wheats looking towards the back. He's going to have shots on one player. Other player from Justice right next to him going to be Mochilla going up against Diabolic. And they are completely across the map from each other. Yeah, you've got Mochilla. He hasn't actually died yet in this SD versus Diabolic. Who he's only got two kills, you know. And this is a must round for Rise. Make no mistake, you know. You can't afford to be going 5 0 down at this stage. No, not at all. You can't afford to go down. I mean, 5 0, 4 0 is basically a uh, loss. 5 0 is a 100% loss. We usually don't see teams. We never really see any team come back from that far down. Mochilla, he's going to pick up bomb. 25 seconds left. No, Swanee, it's very interesting. He has a. He has a few rounds to kind of play with. I don't want to say, you know, kind of throw away a round, but he actually could just sit in the back of the defensive spawn and see if, you know, Diabolic's going to rotate over to B, but it looks like Diabolic is fully committed to watching A. He has no intention of moving. He's going to be very disappointed when this bomb goes down. Yeah, and as soon as the bomb goes down, that instantly gives Mochilla an advantage, especially on this game, given the speed of the movement uh, and how easy it is to traverse the map. You know, all you uh, effectively need to do in 1v1s is just continue to rotate around the bomb. You're like, like you see from Mochilla now, you know. Other calls you might have picked a spot and sat in the corner, you know, but on this, it's so easy to rotate around the bomb. There's so many spots you can just peek the bomb from. Yeah, and it looks like Diabolic is directly above Mochilla. He's trying to give chase, but... You know, completely lost him. Mochilla just really needs to check bomb. Oh, Actually, Diabolic able to pick up that kill, and he oh is going to be able to get the fuse. So big round from Rise. Diabolic able to clutch that. Yeah, he just got absolutely melted there. To be honest, Mochilla did. Um, and that was the SM coming into play again. You know, anything from close to medium range, and Diabolic had the advantage. What I don't understand there is that Mochilla had two grenades. He could have easily. You know, grenade yeah. with the bomb. I saw at least point, get. Uh, he could have at least saw if he got hit markers and then kind of pushed up. But you know, let's see what's going to go on from Rise on offense here, trying to bring this one back down 4-1 against Justice. But you know, that's a big 1v1 win there for Diabolic. Yep. Looks like uh, Enable. He's going to get first Once blood again. again so first pick in a rule. I mean, no, they are doing a very good job getting first blood, and you can see how aggressive Justice is being on defense. They're going to push right up. It is going to be just up to Chino. He's got two players in front of him. He's going to put in shots. He's going to miss. And players from Justice are going to swarm him very fast. So Justice one round away from taking this S&D in commanding fashion. Uh, you know, you got to wonder. Mochilla, you know, was able to clean that round up. Would have been a 6-0. Uh, definitely good for the confidence. Looks like Pac-Man is going to get on the board. But Mochilla 7-1 and Able 8-2 leading the charge for Justice. Yeah, I mean, as you, say, as you said, they're just in a commanding position now. And I think despite the fact that Machilla didn't manage to pick up that round, I can't see them losing the SD, especially given how effective they are in executing their strategy, which is just literally rushing the opposition spawn no matter what they decide and just saturating the players, really giving them no room to maneuver and just uh, just surrounding them, basically. Yep, I'm on board with Classic over here to start. He's going to get stunned with that snipe. Looks like he's going to shoot a grenade down. But, you know, he's got teammates down trying to battle for a... Who is this right here? It's going to be Mochilla. He's got two players in front of him. He's going to be taken out. And Nabel taken out as well. So very nice start for Rise Nation beginning of this round. Slack Day will pick up one, but he is taken out shortly. And Rise Nation's trying to stay alive here in this S&D, you know, picking up that round. But uh, yeah, it might be a little bit too late here, Swan, I think. Uh, definitely too late. But I think even so, that that was a pretty big mistake from the from the guys down at A on... Um on Justice, once he, the, the guy, I'm, who was it behind the bomb? Possibly Pac-Man, Pac I'm not sure, but someone got the kill behind the bomb and that really should have been traded. Yeah, I know, I didn't catch that. I didn't see who actually picked up that kill from behind bomb, but Justice still one round away. Rise trying to mount the comeback. Let's go on board with the boys from Rise, see if they can get this going. Looks like uh, it's going to be Wheats leading the charge down towards A. It's going to try and have to take out this player over on this A side. Actually sees no resistance. He's got that Overclock ability, no mute. He's going to push straight through. Going to have a player right around the corner. Two players down, four rise. Three players down, four rise. All up to Chino. Barring a miracle. Looks like Justice is going to tie this one up at 1-1. And, yep, that is exactly what's going to happen. So we are going to have Justice tie this up. No very dominating performance on Terrace S&D. Uh, no Swan. 
Uh, that wasn't very close. Yeah, I mean, that, that's exactly what we were talking about earlier, actually, that round is a perfect example of... They, they kind of kept the same strategy throughout until that last round where they decided to switch it up. And on defense, they actually just as basically just... They gave up bomb control completely of both A and B, sat in their spawn and just kind of just played around the fact that they knew that given how unsuccessful Rise had been, they needed Rise needed to make a play. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, Justice played that map perfectly. And when we come back from this quick commercial break, it will be map number three in this series against... Uh, it's going to be Justice and Rise. So it's going to be uh, Detroit Uplink when we come back from this quick commercial break. Stay tuned, guys.